What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be telling you 10 new features in iOS 8 Beta 4. So don't worry you want to talk too much because he clicks on this video to know the new features, so let's get straight into it. Number one, we have brand new tips app. The much rumoured tips app, which was supposed to be part of the first beta of iOS 8, has finally made the cut in today's release. As the name implies, the new tips app lets new users find their way around iOS 8 and features small, useful, tidy bits that will help any being to become a pro user in no time. And with new tips coming directly from Apple every week within the app, it's a neat way to stay up to date of what hidden gems lurk underneath Cupertino's latest and greatest mobile OS. At number 2 we have completely redesigned Control Center. Control Center has received a hefty facelift in today's new release. And now ties in well with the overall look and feel of iOS 8, getting rid of thin black outlines and borders in favour of a more streamlined design. At number 3 we have the Bug Report app being removed. The bug report app which allowed users to send bug and crash reports to Apple has been removed in the iOS 8 beta 4. Number 4 we have the new HomeKit icon. In iOS 8 beta 4, Apple has given the HomeKit icon a very small makeover. If you're coming over from beta 3, then the change is noticeable at first sight. Number 5 we have new display and brightness setting. Apple has made a small change to how brightness is altered from the settings app with the illusion of a new display and brightness setting. Previously, the brightness setting could be found under the wallpapers and brightness tab. And to take things further, the display and brightness section also includes the option to alter text or turn bold text on or off. At number six, we have separate expiry options for audio or video messages. Under settings and messages, beta four has a new option that allows you to set expiry time for a video and audio messages separately. At number 7 we have a new handoff and suggested apps feature. A new option handoff and suggested apps have been added under settings general which lets you turn on or off the ability to show apps relevant to your location on your lock screen or the app switcher. It includes suggestions from apps that are installed on your device or from the app store. So at number 8 we have new showing app switcher option. This is perhaps something which some users have been crying for since the first iOS 8 beta came out. You can now customise whether or not you want to see your recent or favourite phone contacts in the app switcher. To access this setting, simply navigate to settings, mail, contacts, calendars and then tap on show in app switcher under the contacts headings. At number 9 we have new swipe option setting in mail. Under the same mail contacts calendar setting in iOS 8 beta 4, there's a new feature called swipe options under the mail heading. What different swipe gestures do in the native mail app? Finally at number 10 we have notification center and control center options added in accessive touch. If you use iOS 8's accessibilities feature, then this one's a biggie. Accessitive, accessitive touch now lets you access the notification center or control center with a simple tap of a button. You can access Accessive Touch by navigating to Settings, General Accessibilities and then tapping on the Accessive Touch under the Physical and Motor heading. And that is the 10 new features featured in the new iOS 8 Beta 4. So if you're going to upgrade or update, that's what you're going to get. And I hope you like this video. I also have a Facebook page, not many people know about it. And I do post, I am starting to post technology stuff every day on that. So I may not make a video about it, but I'll give a video on Facebook and a brief description where you will be able to keep up to date with other technology stuff. But yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.